Intelligence-driven security is a strategy that enables organizations to effectively secure their most critical assets, manage digital risk, and build trust in today's increasingly cloud-based, mobile, and big data-driven world. The drivers for adopting an intelligence-driven security strategy is that today's strategies, the security processes that we've standardized on, and a lot of the tools that we use really don't work as well as they used to. They're failing us. They're increasingly ineffective. Um, and the reason why this is is that they are largely based on the idea around prevention and perimeter protection. And as we've expanded our capabilities, as our IT systems have evolved, we're increasingly breaking down those perimeters. We're opening up access to more and more third parties, more and more digital identities. We're facing an increasingly sophisticated and adaptive set of attackers that can work around these static rules that look backwards and not forwards. So if companies don't go about adopting their strategies, they're not going to be able to defend their organization against the increasingly advanced threats that will cause business damage or loss. And more importantly, they're not going to be enable the organization to take advantage of the disruptive IT innovations that could be new sources of competitive advantage because the risks will be too great. The key requirements for adopting an intelligence-driven security strategy start first with that shift in mindset. We have to move from a defense doctrine and a strategy that's based around prevention um, that places a lot more priority on detection and response. Um, to do that, organizations really need three key capabilities. First is visibility, and it's visibility into what matters. The things that matter in today's environment first are risks. We need to understand the risks that the organization are facing so we can appropriately prioritize our activity. We also need visibility into what's happening on our networks. We need visibility into digital identities. Who's on that network and what's their behavior like? And finally, we need visibility into our key applications of what's happening inside those. And we need to gather more and more in-depth granular telemetry that can deliver that visibility. Once we have that data, we need to turn that data into actionable intelligence. This is where analysis comes in. We need to enrich that data with context and use it to spot anomalies that indicate threats. And finally, Based on that analysis, we need to take action. We need to be very agile and rapidly act on analysis to prevent damage or loss to the organization, increasingly doing so in an automated fashion. The benefits of adopting an intelligence-driven security strategy, the most immediate benefit, is our ability to be more responsive and be better able to defend the organization. On top of that, the intelligence-driven approach better prioritizes the scarce resources because risk is the driver of activity. Ultimately, an intelligence-driven security strategy enables security to be more responsive to the business, be seen as a business enabler, enable the business to accept and embrace the risk of adopting new innovations like cloud and mobile that can help drive the business forward. The consequence of not adopting an intelligence-driven security strategy, of not becoming more intelligence-driven, the most immediate is that the organization is not going to be able to defend itself against the increasingly dangerous, increasingly sophisticated threat landscape. There's a much greater potential for business damage or loss as time goes by. Another very important consequence is that the organization is not going to be able to take advantage of some of the new disruptive IT innovations that can be new sources of competitive advantage. They're at risk of being left behind their peers uh, and being able to compete. 